In this video, we're going to take a look at how you set up a TP-Link HS110 or HS100 Wi-Fi smart plug. While a little on the expensive side, a TP-Link smart plug does offer a number of useful features. For example, it will allow you to remotely turn a device on or off. It will give you the ability to schedule when the plug provides power. You can add basic voice controls to a device via Amazon Alexa. It gives you the ability to make it appear as if someone is at home while you are away. And if you have the HS110 model, you can monitor how much energy an appliance uses. Inside the box, you will find the smart plug, plus the warranty information, a setup guide, support details, and licensing documents. At the top of the smart plug is a reset switch, which will allow you to either factory reset the device or configure the smart plug for use with a new Wi-Fi access point. We then have a power switch stroke indicator light. This informs you of the wireless connection status of the smart plug, along with whether the smart plug is switched on or off. While the smart plug is mostly controlled through the CASA app, the indicator light also acts as a physical button you can use to switch the smart plug on or off with. We then have a pass-through socket you can use to connect any devices you wish to control via the smart plug. At the rear of the unit, we have the prongs to plug the smart plug into a wall socket. Let's plug the smart plug into a wall socket and power up the device. As the smart plug has a power up sequence, we must wait for the power indicator light to first turn green, and then for the wireless indicator light to start flashing amber. This will signify that the smart plug is ready to be set up. In order to set up our smart plug, we need to download the CASA app for Android or iOS. While you can use the CASA app as a guest, we recommend that you create a user account with TP-Link. This is so that you can fully integrate your smart plug with other smart devices, such as the Amazon Alexa range of products. As you can see, we already have a TP-Link smart bulb set up and working in the CASA app. If we select the Add Device icon, we're shown a list of all of the smart devices that we can potentially add to the CASA app. If we scroll through the list, we will see the option for Smart Plug, when we select Smart Plug, we're shown a setup wizard for that device. As we've already switched on our Smart Plug, let's select Next. As the Wi-Fi indicator light is already flashing green and amber, let's select Next again. We now need to wirelessly connect to the Smart Plug. To do this, we need to leave the CASA app and open Settings on the iPad. From within Settings, we need to open Wi-Fi we will see the wireless network the iPad is currently connected to. However, at the time of recording this video, the iPad was not automatically displaying alternative networks that we could join. So by selecting Other and then choosing Cancel, we can force the iPad to search for alternative wireless networks. When a list of wireless networks within range of the iPad are displayed, we need to connect to the wireless network starting with the name TP-Link Smart Plug. We can now return to the home screen and reopen the CASA app. With the iPad now connected to our smart plug, the CASA setup wizard will display a screen asking us if we want to give the smart plug a name. For this example, I'm going to stick with the default name, My Smart Plug. We can now choose which icon we would like to associate with the smart plug. While there are a good selection of icons to choose from, let's use the default icon and select Next. The final stage of the setup wizard is to join the smart plug to our home wireless network. As you can see here, the CASA app has already selected the My Doodads Wi-Fi access point. However, if CASA does not select the correct wireless access point for your home network, simply choose the option I'd like to use a different network. 
Having selected the wireless access point we wish to connect the smart plug to, we simply need to enter the wireless access point password. With the password entered, we can select next to configure the smart plug and join it to our wireless network. You will find that when the smart plug is configured, the wireless status light on the front of the smart plug stops flashing and changes to a solid green. This signifies that the smart plug is connected to a wireless network. With the setup completed, the setup wizard will inform you that the smart plug has been configured. Select Done. The smart plug will now be listed in the CASA app. Let's test that the smart plug is working correctly by turning off the power to the smart plug from within the CASA app. The power indicator light on the front of the smart plug goes out. This signifies that power is not being supplied to the pass-through socket. Let's remotely turn the power back on for the smart plug. The power indicator light on the front of the smart plug turns on. This signifies that power is again being supplied to the pass-through socket. Having successfully completed these tests, we're now ready to connect and control a device via our TP-Link smart plug.